was forward for the month of August, and that means that football is approaching. That, of course, includes Saginaw Valley Saints at CSU was at React Media Day in Grand Rapids today. The Cardinals went 6-5 and five overall last season. This is the team's third straight winning season, the first time a streak of this nature has happened in 10 years. Saginaw Valley State will start their season on September 5th at Winona State, and are excited to get rolled. It's exciting. You can feel it um, in your building uh, every day, the atmosphere, the environment, and just uh, the way your guys interact with each other, the way you love each other. It's just uh, a game in itself that um, I just love it today. Um, so it's significantly different, um, you know, than, than things were you know, a few months ago. Now here's a look at the 2024 React preseason coaches poll that was released today. SCSU slots in at number four, while Ferris State is first. Before tonight's Detroit Tigers game, the franchise invited the Franklin Middle and High School pom-pom teams to perform on the concourse of Comerica Park. This is the second year in a row Freeland has been invited to the ballpark. Freeland's pom-pom squads have been one of the top teams in the state, with the high school varsity team winning states in 2022 and the middle school bringing home the title in 2023. For this year's squad, the opportunity to once again put on a show at Comerica Park is special. It's pretty cool and they're uh, interactive. Like from the girls' perspective, they're just seeing all these people walking around, stopping and watching them and trying to figure out who they are and what the heck they're doing. So it's a pretty cool experience for them. And to be appreciated and recognized by such a big, amazing team and park is just honestly amazing. Here's the scene in Detroit, and then moments later, Freeland performs outside of the Big Cat food court on the concourse of Comerica Park. The team did several different routines and were in action for about 45 minutes. How awesome is that? Now, the team would then get some love on Valley Sports broadcast. Pretty cool, not in the game. No score until Vinny Pasquintino going to hammer one to right. That's gone for a three-run shot. It's 3-0 Royals. Tigers try to answer back. Bly Madrid's going to hit one to left. That's caught, but it's just deep enough to score. Colt Keith from third on the sack fly, but Kansas City proved to be too much. Bobby Wood Jr. rips one to left. That's over the wall. Tigers fall 7-1. to one. Detroit has now lost four in a row. Now to minor league baseball, the Loons on the road taking on Cedar Rapids. Great Lakes up 3-0 when they add to it. Dylan Campbell hits an absolute rocket to left. Three-run homer, it's 5-0 Loons. The story of the game, though, Jackson Ferris. He went eight innings, having six strikeouts, and didn't allow a hit. But they had to pull him going into the ninth inning, and Great Lakes had an opportunity to make some history, but the reliever in the ninth gives up a hit and a run. It's okay, though. Loons still get the win, 6-1. to one. Lastly, here's a look at the medal count so far during the Paris Olympics. The United States is leading the way with 37 total medals. Simone Biles claimed the gold in the all-around competition becomes the oldest woman to accomplish this since 1952. Well, that's it for sports. May, over to you.